Hi friends, welcome to Oracle Tutorials. In this video, we are going to see set operators union and union all. The set operators combines the results of two or more queries into single result. Queries containing set operators are called compound queries. First of all, we will see union. The union operator returns all rows selected by either query. Use the union operator to return all rows from multiple tables and eliminate any duplicate rows. Yes, this is very important. Union eliminate any duplicate rows. When we talk about union, these points we have to keep in mind. The number of columns and the types of the columns being selected should be identical in all the select statements used in the query. Also, we have to keep in mind the names of the columns and need not be identical. Now, we will see the pictorial representation of union. Consider uh, this is a table 1 and here we can see table 2. And here it shows the result of union using two tables. Better we will see uh, the example. Suppose we have a table called football and here we can see uh, that football table data. Also, we have a table hockey and here we can see that table data. Here we are going to campaign the result of these two tables, football and hockey. If we observe, we can see that the number of columns on both tables are three. Also, all the column data type are similar on both table. So here we are going to campaign the result of these two table uh, using union here we can see that select star from football union select star from hockey and here we can see the result of this query here in this result set uh, we can see the first row uh, is from the table football and hockey but here uh, we can see this uh, union eliminates this duplicate rows and shows only once in the same way we can see the other rows We will run this uh, query uh, on our Oracle Express application. Here we can see our uh, tables. Select star from table name is uh, football. Here we can see the result. Also we have one more table. That is select star from hockey. And here we can see the result. Now we will combine these two uh, table and we will see the result using a union. Select star from table name is uh, football. Union second table is uh, select star from hockey. And we will run this query and here we can see the result even we can campaign more than two table also uh, suppose uh, we have one more table table name is uh, cricket and here we can see the result now we are going to campaign uh, these uh, three tables uh, using union. Union. Select star from cricket. And here we can see the result. Now we will see union all. The union all operator returns all rows from multiple tables and it will not eliminate any duplicate rows. Again, we will consider the same tables, football and hockey. And here we are going to give the query, select star from football, union all, select star from hockey. And here we can see the result. Here in the first table, that is football, uh, has total three rows. 
then in table hockey uh, it has uh, three rows then after doing this uh, union all we can see we got uh, total six rows in the result set here we can see how it comes The result set is combined from the both tables without eliminating the duplicate rows. We will execute this uh, union all and we will see the result. Here we will give a union all. And here we can see the result. Even we can combine uh, three tables with the union all. Here we are going to give a union all. Here so we are going to give a union all. And here we can see the result. Nine rows returned. Here for these uh, tables, uh, football, hockey and the cricket have uh, the same number of columns that is 3. Suppose we will consider one more table. Select star from employees and here we can see the result. With the 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 columns. Here we will combine this table employees and uh, football. We will give select star from table name is employees union select star from uh, football. And we will run this query. here we can see it shows an error query block has incorrect number of result columns so here this uh, table employees uh, has uh, five columns and this table football has uh, three columns when we combine tables uh, using union each table should have the same number of columns and each column should have the same data type on each tables here we will uh, rewrite this query and we will uh, run this uh, union here we can see our table employees. So here we will use emp ID, emp name and emp place. So emp ID is number, emp name is worker, emp place also worker. We will run this uh, football table also. Token number is number, name is worker2, section also in uh, worker2. Right. So we will give the query like this. We will give select then we will specify the columns uh, from these employees emp id comma emp name comma emp place from table name is employees union select star from football we will run this query and we will see the result. Here we can see the combined result. Here we will make a small change and we will run this query. Select MB ID, MB name, instead of MB place, here we are going to give MB DOB. Then we will run this query. And here we can see the error expression must have same data type as corresponding expression here in this table employees uh, mb id is a number mb name is worker2 mb dob is a date but in this table football uh, it's a number uh, worker2 worker2 and we don't have the same data type as corresponding expression well, in this video we have seen set operators, union and union all. 
friends if you have any doubt any suggestions please comment below and we will meet again with the next video thank you